Hello, everybody, and welcome to Your It Tuesday. Okay, that w- that was a little aggressive. Let me. Good lord. So tag your it Tuesday. That's not what it's called. That's just what I called it right now. So I'm going to be doing two tag videos today. And one of them... One of them is an original tag. The one I'm doing right now is an original tag from Alan. It big, hard, books and classics. Dude, it's so funny. Every time I think I'm going to say the name of his channel right... I get nervous. And he does the same thing with me. It's like we both have a channel names that are too long now, I guess. I don't know. So this is the anti-tag. It's a tag video that's an anti-tag video. So let's see here. I refuse to read. So I refuse to read. I guess the answer to this question would be um, any book that I could kill a small animal with. So, if the book is, like, big enough to, like, if I dropped the book on my foot and it would hurt, I'm probably not going to read that book. Let's just fucking be honest here. Um, I had my um, deal with giant books when, um, with reading Lord of the Rings, and... That was kind of cool, I guess, when I was younger and I didn't have a gajillion books. But now that I do, like, I just, I don't want to invest that much time into a book, I guess. And there's another question that's kind of similar, but in a different way. Um, And I'll get to that in a little bit. Okay, a food I hate. Now, here's the thing that's funny about me. There are a lot of foods that I will pass over, but very few foods that I hate. Like, I, um, as I'm getting older, I've realized that there's a lot of foods that I never gave a chance to. And so I'm trying those, and I either like them or I don't. But I'll try it. But the one thing that I really probably don't like, I don't know if it's hate. We'll just say I'm not running out to try it, is sushi. I know some people are like, how can you say sushi? Like, I think it's the... The, I, I honestly think it's the seaweed, the texture of the seaweed when it's all wrapped up with everything else. And they're like, but there's other su- sushi with no seaweed. I, I understand all of these things. But, like, I had a bad experience one time, so it makes every other experience awful. So that and... I would say, like, any kind of... I don't know, like, I'll eat calamari... But, like, I really don't like uh, slippery, slimy snails. Let's say snails. I won't eat fucking snails. The whole concept of it, it just, it's never going to happen. So let's do that. Okay. Audiobooks. Are they books? Of course they are. Like, it, the funniest thing is, like, a lot of people go, well, you know, like audiobooks are audiobooks so it's obviously you're not reading it you're listening to it but everyone forgets that like the second line of that or the second word or the second part of that compound word is books it's a fucking book um it is reading just like where um you know like everyone talks about like it's so important to read to your kids you know reading them stories and stuff like that Like, does that kid not get that story if the parent's reading it to him? And I know that a lot of people are like, well, you know, if your eyes aren't going over the words, that's not reading. I think people get the wrong idea about what um, storytelling is. Like, if I just want to run my eyes over words, like... We, we could read dictionaries. The, the eye movement isn't the important thing here. It's the storytelling. 
and the ingestion of said story. Like, it doesn't matter if it's fucking red, if it's beamed into your brain, if it's um, tattooed onto your back. That would be a weird way to go, but, like, it's, it's the story, okay? It doesn't matter how you get the story. We're experiencing a story. If you're going to be, like, all weird about this and say, but your eyes aren't going over the words. So, so the whole experience at that point is just eyes going over words. So why get multiple books? Just get a dictionary, get um, a big, giant, fat, ridiculous book of pages that has many words on them and just run your eyes over those words. Okay? Well, you wouldn't do that because that would get boring very quick. Why? Because there's no story there. So obviously the story is really the important thing here and not if your eyes are going over the words. Like, I get into ar arguments about this with people. Like, people tell me, multiple people tell me, that audiobooks are, like, the fall of civilization. There are so many bigger problems with the world right now than motherfuckers listening to audiobooks. Just saying. Okay, graphic novels. Are those reading? Of course they are. It's a story. You're learning a story. You're, you're following along with it. The other thing with this is, I feel like, I feel like probably like 10 years ago, most people wouldn't consider comics or graphic novels as um, books, per se, um, until people started trying to hit these like really lofty Goodreads reader goals. And then once that happened, they're like, oh yeah. Fuck, this War and Peace book's really tough, dude, but I, I could get, like, I don't know, like, ten issues of Captain Marvel down really quick here. I don't know. I don't know. And then anything you won't read. Um, I'm just going to say it like this. Stephen King's It. I started it. Why does she yell? so fucking ridiculous um, Stephen King's It it's ridiculous like I know a lot of people love it whatever I got like I don't I don't even know how far I got into it I felt pushed over a barrel with it it was awful I didn't like it it I I, I felt accosted having to read that book and if I recall I read it because I put a, a read along for it because I'm like, there's no way I'm going to read this book because I want to. So let's see if I could get a bunch of people together to read it. And um, I think by the end of the first week, I was like, Psh, I'm out. <clears throat> anyway, so since this is an anti-tag, um, I'm not going to tag anybody. Because, you know what, fuck it, I'll tag some people. I don't know who yet, it'll be down below. Um... But yeah, so Alan, thank you for tagging me. This was fun. You know, Blood Rag is out now. Uh, Potato Manifesto by Bunny Wild is out today. And there's only 25 copies of these. And Los Angeles by me comes out next week. So thank you for your support and keep buying my books. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.